I suppose I consider myself a sort of a bit of a philosophical writer. It's a fancy word, but you know, it's really just thinking about life, the universe, and everything. What what the heck are we all doing here, and why do we do it? I don't really respond as a writer to political events or current events so much. I I think I try I res, what I respond or what resonates with me most deeply is sort of the universal things about people. Um and what I am most interested in is not telling an audience what to think or how to interpret something. I mean, obviously you have to, you know, present something concrete, but what I love for, you know, with the short play I did, the characters were quite amorphous and, you know, and somebody said, you know, oh, you know, this character was a bird. And I thought, oh, isn't that wonderful? I, you know, that wasn't in my head at all. But I thought, I love that. I love that people can see work and come out with their own interpretation that is, you know, that I would never have thought it's there. You know, I can see where they got that from, but it was not in my head at all. Um, so, yeah, I, I sort of see my job as, as, as really loving all my characters. And I don't write goodies and baddies. I write people. It was very difficult to, to write with everybody in the house. There are only three of us, but we're always here. Um, and then once school started, you know, you have to deal with technology problems and emotional problems, motivate, you know, you, I, I think I, I've found it very hard to find time for myself because I usually like to be alone in the house when I write. I don't like anybody even in the house. Um, so I get a lot of interruptions. It's been very hard to find a routine and, you know, I've just sort of had to make peace with the fact that, you know, I'm a, I'm a mother and a homemaker as well as a playwright. And that's sort of my primary job right now is to take care of my family. Actually, it was quite accidental. I was a writer. I wrote, you know, I think I probably, well, I used to want to be a, a foreign correspondent very specifically. Um, my dad is a writer and, um, and then I was interested in journalism and, and then I got interested, you know, I wrote a lot of bad poetry um, in college and then I turned to short stories. And really it wasn't until after I left college that a friend of mine who's, I went to a performing arts school, SUNY Purchase, so I, I knew a lot of actors. Um, and I watched a lot of, not just professional theater, but you know, students doing theater in basements, in people's apartment, you know, just whatever they could throw together. <clears throat> and it was great. I, it was really quite thrilling. And so she said to me after we graduated, you know, write a play, then back then, I'm showing my age, she said, there are just not that many plays by women for you know interesting female characters and I said well I don't know how to write a play but I realized I'd been watching theater for four years uh, and so I adapted one of my stories into a play and I ended up getting a, a NIFA grant for it a New York Foundation for the Arts grant and I thought well maybe I can write plays and and then I never looked back I you know I, I love the theater There's a place called Mount Tremper. It's a house. I rented the house. You know, you get a reduced rate as an artist. I rented it for a week and went up there. And I did, I took actually some, another person I know. It was quite a big house and it's in the middle of nowhere. And I took another friend up who she writes for TV. So I said, come up, get away from the kids. And, um, it was great. You know, we went into our separate rooms. We had agreements for who's going to, you know, we'll meet for lunch or dinner. But other than that, we'll leave each other alone. So I spent a week and a half, I think, up there writing. 
Um, and I also did a workshop with a company called Fallen Angel. This is a company in New York, um, spearheaded by Aideen Maloney, wonderful, wonderful actress who I've known for many years. Uh, <clears throat> they do plays by and about British and Irish uh, women writers. Um, and so we did a workshop over several days. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I, and I took some, I took a class with Winter Miller, which was also great. And um, I worked with a dramaturg, Caitlin Stilwell from New Jersey Play Lab. Uh, I'm not sure if Play Lab had been formed by then, but I know Caitlin. Um, and now I'm working with her through New Jersey Play Labs. I think it's it's easier to get to know people on a personal level than than it is um, in New York. Um, yeah, I think I find it more manageable, and I like the fact that you know when you when you're younger and and you first get into all this, you think, oh, I have to be in New York, I have to be in Chicago, I have to be. <laughs> and, you know, I think I would love to have learned long ago that that's not actually the case. You know, it, it's it's different and it's there's a lot of great stuff in New York, but there's a lot of great stuff all over the country, you know, if you if you look for it. Um, so, yeah, I'd say it was it was it's, it's just it's easier to develop relationships with people and keep relationships with people, other playwrights. Um, and you know directors and and small theater companies um so yeah i would i would say that's the main difference that i've found um and it's quite nice not to have to go into new york for that i think any discoveries i've made about myself have been sort of going back after a two or three years to something and realizing, oh, that's where that came from. You know, I don't necessarily know, I don't write autobiographically in the sense that, you know, this happened to me, but I, you know, I write autobiographically in the sense that, you know, the feelings I use are my, you know, feelings and sometimes I have to put myself in the position of a character who might not be so likable or great, but I have to find the humanity in that character. Um, yeah, so sometimes you might discover things that are good and not so good about yourself. Um, but yeah, m I would say I mostly discover things later on when I go back to read something um, that I discover, oh, I actually know where that came from in me, which I didn't know at the time. I'm not sure how useful it is to me, but. The New Jersey Individual Artist Playwright Fellows Showcase is a project of the New Jersey State Council on the Arts and the New Jersey Theater Alliance. The New Jersey State Council on the Arts is a partner agency of the National Endowment for the Arts.